The workouts tab is where you can go to check out any of the workouts your trainer has assigned to you. To see what specific workouts look like, simply click on it and you'll see almost everything your trainer has programmed. If you're unsure what the movement looks like or want to double check the correct form, you can click on the exercise to get a HD demonstration video, unveil the exercise metrics and access written instructions. When it comes to logging your workouts, this is done through the mobile app. You can do this through either hitting start workout button from your hub or from the workouts area. It's then a case of choosing the workout you want to complete and hitting the start button. Once you're in the workout logger, it's simply a case of recording what you manage to complete along with checking off the sets as you go. If you need to see the exercise video again, no problem, just hit the thumbnail and you'll be able to play it. Another control that you should be aware of in the workout logger is the menu icon that you'll find next to each exercise. Under here you'll find a whole host of actions including add note, exercise history and create super or giant set. But the one I'd like to walk you through is the swap exercise option. This is typically used when you have an injury or the piece of equipment isn't available. First of all, you'll find the alternatives tab at the top of the page. This is where you'll find three exercises that work in a similar fashion to the original but use different equipment. If none of these are a good fit, you can either search for an exercise that you know you want to use or in the other tabs to find what you're looking for. Once you're happy with the change, hit the save button and you'll be back to your workout. If you need to change anything else within the workout, for example the heading of a column, just press the column title and choose the metric you'd like to record. This isn't typically what we would suggest you do, although often your trainer has programmed this workout with the best efforts to get you the results you're after. Once you've finished logging your workout, just hit finish workout button. The final part of the process is leaving any feedback for your trainer and choosing whether you want to save this workout as a new template. This is used when you swap exercises out and would prefer to save this as a new and revised workout for a later date. Finally, hit the finish button and you'll be navigated back to your hub screen. If you'd like to see what you've logged, swipe left and check it out through the activity feed.